This is code.org, and we have our painter, uh, our my neighbor dot Java, use an if statement and can move method to move forward one square if the painter, if the painter object can move forward in the direction it is facing. So we have some code here. Does it do anything? It looks like we just make the painter. But ah, uh, all right, boring. Now this might look super easy. It's tempting guys just to do, and this is completely wrong, but you're like, yeah, I can do this. All right, so we have a painter object, right? We're used to that, my painter dot. And I know move, so let me slap down move here and hit run and I'm done. Look, it's great. You're not done, you a liar. <laughs> all right, we gotta follow what it's actually asking. And what it's asking for here is an if statement. It wants us to check a condition. Right? And so I'm going to hit show me how because of resources, code.org gives you a ton of them. So use them. All right. So look, if. All right. Cool. Well, I'm going to eliminate this for now. And right on line 10, 11, I guess, right under their comments, I'm going to write if. And I'm going to follow that example. I'm going to just have this blank for now, but I'll do the parentheses and the curly brackets. Otherwise, I forget. So I do it all right away. And now I know I need a question here. Right. I, I need to ask the computer something because it says if this is going to be a question. And they give us some advice here. Use an if statement in the can move method. And we've seen this before, right? Can move, yada, yada, done. Well, once again, this isn't going to run. This is going to be an error. And that's because the computer has no idea what we're talking about. What can move? Where is this coming from? What's this belong to? Well, Painter is actually the class that would have this method in it. So there's code somewhere. We can't see the Painter file or the Painter class, but it's code somewhere that the painter class has a method can move and this behavior it allows this behavior for my painter image my painter character to move however i have to tell it what and that's our object right we have this object this object is what can do all the painter stuff so i have to tell it what i'm asking about it says if can move if what can move if my painter can move now computers respond true or false so this is only one or two things it is false you cannot move because you're standing here or it is true and you can move if this is false if i cannot move the code in here would never and could never run however if this is true i can move the code in here must run so we already know how to move my painter dot move blah blah all right i'm gonna do this this way first bam and we're able to move but I want to also show you, I'm going to copy it because I'm going to make this point a million times over, can move right here. So now, will I move twice? Am I going to run into this cone? And I won't because this evaluates to true. So this runs. However, once I move forward that time, I ask the computer again, hey, hey, can my painter move? The computer goes, Joop. no, there's this cone here. So the computer this time would say false. Your painter can't move. There's a cone. And therefore, I never move forward, right? It doesn't run the code inside. Up here, when I'm standing here, it has to run the code inside because I can move at that point. However, here, I'm here and I cannot. So, and we can confirm that this isn't running because I know if it was actually running, move, it'll throw an error at me. See this? And that's because we're not allowed to move there. All right. This is what they're actually needing, what we actually need. Pretty cool. Onward.